we want to find the general solution to the fourth order constant coefficient linear homogeneous differential equation. And we'll find the general solution using what we already know about second order equations and the notes shown below. To begin, analyzing the differential equation, notice how the corresponding characteristic equation is r to the fourth minus five r cubed plus six r squared equals zero. The next step is to find the roots or solutions. Let's first factor out the greatest common factor of r squared. And now we factor r squared minus five r plus six. The factors of r squared are r and r. The factors of positive six that add a negative three are negative two and negative three. We have three roots or three solutions. We have r equals zero, but because the factor of r occurs twice, r equals zero has multiplicity two, or it's a repeated root. And then we have two distinct roots of r equals two, or r equals three. And now looking at our notes for second order equations, we'll be using the notes for number one and number two, where for number one, if we have a second order equation, and we have two distinct real roots, r sub one and r sub two, the general solution is y of x equals c sub one times e raised to the power of r sub one times x plus c sub two times e to the power of r sub two times x. And number two, when we have two real equal roots, the general solution is y of x equals c sub one e to the power of rx plus c sub two times x e to the power of rx. Notice the extra factor of x in the second term. This indicates the general solution to the given fourth order equation is y of x equals, let's first use the two distinct roots of two and three. Using the root of two, we have c sub one e to the two x plus using the root of three, we have c sub two e to the power of three x plus, and now using the root of zero with multiplicity two, or the repeated root of zero, we have c sub three times e to the zero plus c sub four times x times e to the zero. Simplifying the general solution is y of x equals c sub one e to the two x plus c sub two e to the three x. e to the zero is equal to one, giving us plus c sub three plus c sub four x. This is the general solution. I hope you found this helpful.